because that weight that was easy to take off when he was 21, baby, it's not the same type of easy <laughs> to take off. That metabolism, that metabolism is not metabolizing at the same rate it was when you were 21, ma'am, or 25. She always got something to say. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> we gonna cry a little. I can going to laugh her. a lot. I like her. Hear real shit. She she keeping it real. in the right spot. Come on, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to another video. I'm your girl, Jamaica. Of course, if you are new here and you don't know what to do here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And just like that, you are a jewel. You're a jewel for the rest of my life, for the rest of your life, for the rest of our lives. We are officially locked in. Okay? If you have been here and you are still here, you still rocking, you on Instagram, you on Snapchat, you're supporting, you're commenting, you tuned in, what's going on? What the fuck is up? As you guys can see, we are in a whole new, like, background. So at first, I was kind of, like, over there in the corner. If you have been here, you still here, then you know. I said, you know, we're going to try this. And so, bam, this is what we got. So this is going to be our new setting until something changes because things change. Things happen. As you guys know, I am 32 going on 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32 going on 33. Let me say that I've always been one of them people who didn't mind maturing, who did not mind aging. So I'm happy to be in my 30s. Now, every now and again, it does shock me. Like, oh my God, when my son calls me old or when somebody asks to see my ID and it hits me like, you can be born in 2000 and technically, like, you're an adult at this point. So for me to be born in the 19 anything... <sighs> But I am happy to be wise beyond my years and I'm happy to just be in this space in my life at this age in my life with have overcoming the things that I've overcame at this age in my life. So, happy 32. I'm going to be 33. If you know my birthday is 620. Those are my favorite digits right there. 620. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay? So, I'll be 33 this year and I just want to touch on five things that... I've really taken on in my 30s that I didn't take on in my 20s and things that I felt like in your 30s, these are things you are more likely to focus on. Of course, it'll be different because not only am I in my 30s, but I am a mom. I'm a mom to a three-year-old and I'm a mom to a about to be 16-year-old who thinks he's 21. So my experience, my five things may be different from your five things. Put them in the comment section below and let's just compare all our five things and celebrate them in our 30s. Number one. I go to church <laughs> a more, 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 more in my 30s than I think I ever have in my life. And I want to start this video off with God because in my 30s, I realized that I need God more now than before. As I've grown and as things have started to happen in my life and as I take on more responsibility and my kids get older, I just realize you need God. I don't care what relationship you have with man, your husband, your wife, your grandparents, whomever, your mother, your father, there is nobody like God. And especially in your 30s when you are not married, because like I'm not married and I want to be, I really have to seek God. You seek God and then you start to seek and achieve and accomplish and get all the things that you want for and you long for. But that does not happen without God. And for me to have made it from what I can remember at a young age was like five to now, Listen, there's nobody but God, okay? So I go to church a lot more often now. I just feel like the things that happen in my life require so much more of God's presence and requires me to be present in God and in his scripture than ever before. Number two, self-care. When you're young, I think you always think that you're going to always be youthful. You know, like, I'm always be youthful. Like, you're in your 20, 21, 22, 23, y'all know the ages. You just think that you're going to always stay that age. And I think when I turned 31, I was like, oh, my God, I'm in my 30s. I was like, oh, my gosh. And then you really start thinking about that self-care, so your vitamins, the things that you lack. You really start to monitor your diet and your exercise and your mental health. So yoga, if that's what you're into, and meditation, you really start to pay attention to how you carry yourself and your self-care like as a whole. You want to take longer baths or longer showers. You know, you really pay attention to what you're rubbing on yourself. So you, I now look for stuff that's so free. 
okay because i'm caring about the ingredients that's in products i'm looking at my skin how my skin changes as i age so everything like the pimples that start coming out like the wrinkles the lines it's like they're starting to happen i'm thankful i don't have gray hair however i'm gonna be a person who's gonna love my gray hair like i'm not gonna want to get my gray hair is covered up i'm going to really embrace my gray hair my grandmother has beautiful beautiful gray hair with like white highlights like her natural just gray hair is beautiful i don't understand why nobody would want to cover up their gray hair but teach his own so self-care i think is really important to focus on and to pay attention to when you start to naturally pay attention to it when you look in the mirror every day and you realize okay i do need my vitamins i do need to drink more water i do need to exercise and run because that weight that was easy to take off when you was 21 baby it's not the same type of easy <laughs> to take off that metabolism that metabolism is not metabolizing at the same rate it was when you were 21, ma'am, or 25. You're in your 30s. So you got to meet your metabolism halfway now. You got to start exercising, eating the right foods, fruits, vegetables, making sure you're taking your vitamins, making sure you're taking, like, everything that you need to be set. Number three, how I dress. <sighs> I find attire at this age to be really difficult because you want to stay youthful, but you also want to give that I am in my 30s, I am mature look. And it's trying to find that balance of what exactly does that look like. I go through Macy's, I go through so many stores, like I can wear this. This is cute, but is it young, you know? And so I am like trying to find that balance between still giving like, okay, girl, it's giving, but still giving, I'm a mother, um, I'm a wife, I'm not, but y'all know what I'm saying? You know, like giving that mature look. I really started focusing on that in my 30s because that's so important. I don't want to go around dressing like the 21-year-old. It kills me when I see crop tops. It kills me when I go somewhere and I cannot find a full length, a full length sweater, a full length jacket, a full length shirt. Where are all the full length clothes? Where are all the clothes? <laughs> that carry the rest of the material okay i don't want a crop top all the time i don't want to have to wear high-waisted pants so that it can make up for the space that's missing from the crop top like come on now what are we doing as at my age i run a lot more errands i do a lot more stuff with my sons and activities i go to church a lot and so trying to find that balance of cute but mature is really important to me but it's very hard like i don't even go into certain stores because i know those are for this younger generation <laughs> so i try to go to mature stores but i don't want to look overly mature like somebody's grandmother because i'm not nobody's grandmother you hear me my son better not play me like that but i do want to find something that says you're a woman you have matured you have hit that 30 you know threshold this is how you should dress i am really big on trying to find something that is my age but it's also given a look because we just we always want to give a look number four number four really kind of ties into number one i pray a lot i pray so much okay <laughs> i could be driving down the street using the bathroom shopping at target <sighs> I pray when the sun goes up and the sun comes down in my 30s. I just see a lot more, especially with the younger generation, the ages of my son, and then even those in their 20s. And I just be wanting to pray for them. Life is so hard. Life is so different than what it was when we were growing up in the 90s, when I was growing up. And it's just a scary place to be in when something is moving so fast you know how they say a highway to hell <laughs> I, 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 where's the stairs i'm gonna take the stairway to heaven and not the highway to hell but it just seems like we're moving so fast through time that it's almost like a fresh highway to hell i don't know how else to describe it i ain't gonna hold y'all so i pray a lot i do pray a lot i pray a lot for my family i pray a lot for other people's families i pray a lot for people on the streets who don't have family i just find myself always in prayer mode um in acts of service because you just never know 
And at this time, I feel like it's so necessary to be a vessel. It's so necessary to be a helping hand and have that act of service and do something beyond your own self that's selfless. And so number four is in my 30s, I do pray a lot more than I ever have in my life, actually. And it took for me to get into my 30s with, number one, that I told you guys, with going to church and just realizing that there is such a greater need and there is such a bigger need. And it's important for me to be a it's important for me to be a part of what that need is to try to meet it. So, number one and number four really kind of go hand in hand. Like, going to church, number one, but also praying. I have just started praying a lot more in my 30s. I have just started, like, really trying to make sure God and I have an intimate conversation and an intimate relationship on a daily basis. Number five, and this is going to be something that... I just like started becoming and that was just less worried and less concerned with having friends and like being outside and being in everything when I hit my 30s and like I said I've always been that person that's actually been an introvert like I've never been the type to like to go out and party and hang around and be around a lot of people and club that's just never been my thing but now now I am in solitude. Not to say I don't have friends. Not to say I don't like to make friends. But I'm not going out and seeking it. I'm not like every Friday saying, okay, it's time to go out and party. Every Saturday. I'm not doing any of that. I have stepped into my 30s and what's important is a brunch. What's important is a ladies night. What's important is a date night out with the guy that I am dating. What's important is having some family time with my sons or hanging out with my family. It is not going to the club. It is not getting dressed, putting on my best, my heels. I would rather stay in. My 30s, especially my 30s in 2023 and 2022 actually and moving forward, if I'm not going to be around people that are praying with me, praying for me, so like the women's ministry, some of my closest friends or some of my family members or the person that I'm dating, I don't care to be around anyone. I'm okay with this bed right here. I'm okay with sitting right here on the weekends. I don't plan nothing. I don't feel like I need to go out. I will grab some food that was very expensive and I will make a meal. And I will come in this house that I pay all the bills to. Rent, water, sewer, trash, pest control. It cost me $2,000. I will sit in here. I don't have the urge to go outside. I think that in my 30s anyways, I can't speak for nobody else, but I've become more and more okay with not going to be a part of what's happening outside. I'm okay with knowing I pay my bills. I get to have my home to myself. I get to eat my own food. It's free in my house. I can go to it and eat however much I would like. I can walk around in my pajamas and sit in my house and be comfortable. Call on TV. Read my Bible. Do some work because I'm writing a book on my laptop. Sit in my bed. Listen to music. I don't feel like I have to go outside. And that, I think, is one of them that I really, really appreciate. Because back then, when you're... Not back then, but when you're younger, you just feel like you want to go out and do what your friends are doing. You're like, oh my gosh, the weekend, I want to party. I want to turn up. I want to have my hair done and my nails done. I want to go out. I want to show off. But as you get older, you realize there's nothing out there. No offense if you're out there. But there's nothing out there. It, it costs you more outside than you do to stay in your own house. You can save a lot more by staying in your own house, eating your own food, listening to your own music, okay? Having your own cocktail, a glass of wine, never hurt nobody. They even make low-cal wine, okay? When I say low-cal, I mean, okay. If you know, you know. So, I, I stay at home, like, in my, what? I was staying home when I was younger, but now in my 30s, now that I'm a mom, so a teenager and a toddler, like home is where it's at. When I get off of work, I want to go home. Again, in your 30s, if you have friends that are also in their 30s, they're busy too. Okay? We all got a schedule and all be on the same time in order for us to go out and do something at night. Other than that, we might like, you You free? No, next Tuesday? No, 5 o'clock? Can you do 5 o'clock? No, you can't only do 1 o'clock. You can only do 2 Like, if that's how it is. Everybody have their own lives. Everybody is busy and masters out of 10. Everybody work their ass off. They want to come home and they want to rest. We want to save money, okay? We want to and save the money, and resting all happens in one place, and that is your home. So a brunch, yes, and when we do a brunch, it's like, oh my God, where you been? How you been? Like, we actually have information to exchange because we've been absent from each other's worlds in a, a an environment for so long because we've been living our own lives. So those are the five things for me that in my 30s, like 30, flirty, and thriving, 
sturdy, flirty, and thriving. Okay, I really, I go to church a lot more. That self-care is really important. Taking those vitamins, making sure you're eating healthy and exercising, treating yourself well mentally spiritually emotionally physically you want to make sure that you're dressing appropriately I've, i'm really like i'm just trying to find it i don't have it all the way i'm trying to find it okay i'm trying to find that cute and 30 flirty look focusing on that for being prayer i pray constantly the world is just moving so many things are coming to light and a lot of it is evil and um, people don't want to say it but that's what it is you gotta call a spade a spade a lot of it is evil so i Stay in prayer so I can stay alive. Of course, number five is staying in. There's nothing wrong. And you're going to find this out when you get that age with staying in. You save a lot more. There's, you're not susceptible to whatever evil is out there, whatever problems are out there. Like, Not to say things can't happen in your home because they can, but they're less likely to. If you're sitting at home reading a book, watching a movie, eating something healthy, cooking, dancing, minding your business you're gonna be a-okay. So those are my five things in my 30s that I've either learned or just have picked up on and just embodied a lot more. Feel free to leave yours below. Make sure you are following on Instagram and Snapchat. I will leave the links somewhere here, the names somewhere here. If you see me in the streets, don't be afraid to speak. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.